Hello friends, I'm Barways and this is our 67th video in PyQt5 GUI development and especially uh, we have started our topic on Qt Quick and QML. So this is from the previous video that uh, we have a window and also uh, in the previous video we have created a text uh, in here. So these are the files I'm going to uh, start from the place where we have left off so this is our uh, in this python file we have loaded our qml and this is our main qml uh, we have a window and in the window we have a text so now uh, we are going to i want to load this image in my this uh, 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 qml file or in in my this window so now let's get started open your main.qml so for image like text we have uh, an element that's called image so like this uh, let me just give uh, an ID to image and now uh, you need to specify the source I've already copied this image in my directory so uh, you need to have an image and in here you need to give your image name so my image name is qml.png uh, now let me just run it Now you can see uh, that we have uh, our QML image uh, in here. Uh, let me just change the color of uh, my window to black. So like this and now let me just run it. Now you can see that this is our QML. Uh, also, you can uh, do uh, some. Uh, you can give a size to this. For example, uh, right now you can see uh, it's not looking good. If I make it smaller or bigger, like this. Okay. So for this, uh, open your main dot QML, and in our image we are going to set the width and height. So you can write source size dot width uh, I want the main parent divided main parent dot width divided by two and um, so our parent is our window and this is our parent if you give an ID for this so you can use the ID because I haven't uh, given an ID for this so I'm going to just directly use the parent and source size dot height parent dot height divided by two so now let me just run it again and now you can see that this is our image and if I make it uh, you can see now uh, it is responsive to our window and we can do it uh, like this so Okay, uh, so this was a short video on a loading image in QML. Uh, I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel and also check my blog.